Yes, people, welcome back to once again another video. You couldn't even beat KSI. Okay, there are three points of views regarding this fight. The public's point of view, Logan Paul's point of view, and Floyd Mayweather's point of view. I'm going to start with the public's point of view. Right. What makes you think that you deserve to be able to walk in, into the ring and be in the presence of one of the greatest boxers it's all It's so crazy because I don't know if this is the right outlet for this because it's mine. Logan, hell no. That's the answer to the guy's question. You do not deserve a chance to go in to box a boxing legend like Floyd Mayweather. You haven't deserved it. You haven't earned it. The fights that you've taken on, you've drawn one and you've lost one. And that wasn't even against a real fighter. So come on. Be straight up. Don't, don't, don't start talking ish and about, uh, I, uh, I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say yes. Say hell no. I don't want to say no. I don't, I don't want to say yes. Uh, for whatever reason, like I said, I, I was the one that had been blessed with this opportunity. And I, and I don't take that lightly. Uh, you know, fighters work their whole life, their whole life to get an opportunity to fight on a stage this big. This, this could be one of the biggest fights in the history of combat sports. And I, I don't say that jokingly and people can laugh and <clears throat> pretend it's a gimmick. But on the other hand, if I was Logan Paul, this is a win win situation. Regardless, I cannot lose. People don't expect me to win because I've never won a, a boxing match. You know, even against other YouTubers, I'm struggling. So, f for him, it's a win-win situation. For so I can under I can understand why he's taking the fight and why he's so hyped and so forth. But uh, don't get over too hyped and talk about it's the biggest fight of all time because it's not. Don't think if you win the fight. That is going to be the biggest upset of all time, because it won't be, yeah? You're someone who's virtually a heavyweight. We're talking cruiserweight, between cruiserweight and heavyweight. And he's a welterweight, or super welterweight. So you're four or five weights bigger than he is. This is the reason why this isn't a professional fight, because... The Professional Boxing Association wouldn't allow a heavyweight to get in the ring with a welterweight. It doesn't make any sense. Apart from when you look at the bag. They're both going for the bag, people. They're both going for the bag. That's all it is. You know, it's, that's all it is. A nice little payday. Yo, furthermore, Logan's already started to trash talk. I mean, on his podcast, he was talking about that. I hope they're not going to get me to do this. I hope they won't force me to do that. Man, shut the fuck up, man. Listen, you've been losing weight for the last couple of months. Anyone that's got eyes can see. So it's obvious that you've already signed a contract. They've told you to lose some weight, and you are losing the weight. Now, it's true. Floyd should not be entertaining this rubbish. Because he's a legend. But there are circumstances, folks. As we were looking at the tweets, you can see that uh, Nate Robinson is a friend or an acquaintance of Floyd Mayweather. So when Jake Paul knocked out Nate Robinson and the whole community and the culture was kind of shocked and embarrassed and all that, you know, <laughs> I mean... Floyd had no choice. He said, whoa, I cannot let that pass. I cannot let this pass. So what he's going to do, he's going to say, listen, I'm going to go in there and just sort out. Even though this guy is much bigger than me, he has a longer reach, but he's no professional. So I'm going to sort out and take care of this for the culture and for the people. That's all well and good, Floyd, but... For me, I would still pass because it's not worth it. All you're doing is giving the poor boys even more clout. 
And he's talking about this is the biggest fight ever. He seems to forget that there was a fight between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. Yeah, that racked up millions. We're talking hundreds of millions of pounds. I'm talking, people are saying Floyd took away between 100 and 200 and uh, Conor between 50 and 100 million dollars. So this is not going to be as big as that. So Logan, calm the fuck down. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you soon. I'm out.